Hey guys, in this video today, I want to show you how you can open the media pool in the color page of DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So what am I talking about? If you are here in the color page, you have the gallery, you have the LUTs, but you don't have the media pool. But what if you want to bring PNGs or JPEGs into your node tree from the media pool? So what is the media pool? If you come here to the cut page, you see the media stuff that we have for all of our footage, transitions, everything that sits here in the media pool. But we can't open that here on the color page, but you can on the desktop. How can we do this now on the iPad? It's actually very straightforward and I think I made a video in my Q&A series. There is a playlist here on the channel where I answered your questions. This playlist covers a lot of ground about DaVinci Resolve and a lot of the questions that you guys had over the last year. So definitely check out this playlist with the Q&A stuff if you're new to DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. But anyway, how can we now open the media pool? In order to open that one, you have to have a keyboard or a Bluetooth keyboard and you have to open the shortcuts menu. Option, Command and K. If you have the shortcuts menu open, you search here for media pool, media pool. And now scroll all the way down when you see here workspace, then show panel in workspace. If I click this open, now you see here media pool. You have to give this a shortcut. If there's nothing in, by default there's nothing in, you have to click here on that one, give it a shortcut. On my iPad, I give it the shortcut eight. You save now. And if I come now here to the color page and I click eight, boom, voila, you see the media pool. So that means now I have even access to my media in my media pool and I can, for example, bring in JPEGs and PNG files and stuff like that all here into my node tree with the media pool. If you are new to DaVinci Resolve on the iPad and you want to learn all the bells and whistles, I'm talking about not just the standard cut page and color page, I'm talking about all the advanced techniques because most of the stuff that we can do on the desktop, we can also do on the iPad. This is why I created a masterclass. It's called DaVinci Resolve iPad Masterclass from beginner to pro and you will learn everything that you need to know about DaVinci Resolve and by the way, everything you learn here will also work on the desktop. So you basically learn two platforms at once and you will learn all the hidden gems for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So definitely check out the link here in the description. Also, I put it on the first comment, the link, and there is still, I think, some percentage off. But anyway, we see us in the next video. If you found this helpful, give it a like, thumbs up, ding-a-ding-a-the-bang-bang-bong, bong-bong-bong-bong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.